Now, in my 27 years in the Marine Corps, I have probably used every single one of these leadership traits. Okay, they're, they're, they're good for, um, for mentorship. Um, they're things that I taught every one of my Marines from private all the way up to, uh, to gunner sergeant. So, um, they're very good as long as you pay attention to what they are and you, you need to understand what they are, okay? I got my slides up here. It's gonna help us explain. Okay, click please. Um, the way we're gonna use it, purpose and scope, I'm teaching about the 14 leadership traits. I'm gonna teach you a, a, a good way to, to learn them and to remember them. Click please. Okay, leadership traits, JJ did tie buckle. When would you remember that, um, that acronym? It will always help you to remember the, the, the 14 leadership traits. Now it's not, this is only to help you remember them. You have to adopt your own, like your own leadership style. It's gonna help you, like my, my favorite one is integrity. Because without integrity, I don't think you could be a very good Marine or a good, um, a good leader. Because uh, the first thing about integrity is and if you can't be and you can be how are you going to be able to do it? How are you going to be able to do it? And we've talked about each one of these in this order. The first one is judgment. The ability to weigh the facts and possible solutions, and this is the baseline of the game. So you're always going to have to use your own judgment when you're making any kind of Whether it be good, whether it be bad. For instance, if we're outside and it's cold, should we stay out there if it's raining and we're PTing? Uh, you got to make a judgment call on that, okay? You have to know your Marines. You have to know your cadets, okay? Who can handle it, who cannot. Um, if the weather's bad, as a Marine, it's a little bit different. Because as a United States Marine, if you're in combat, it doesn't matter if it's raining, it doesn't matter if it's storming. Guess what? you got to fight through it. But your cadets, you don't have to do that, okay? So... That's the kind of judgment call that you need to make, okay? The next one we're going to talk about is justice. Okay, justice is giving rewards. Uh, reward and punishment according to the merits of the case in question. The ability to administer a system of rewards and punishment impartially, okay? In other words, rewards that you guys get, okay? You have set standards that you have to do, uh, that you, things that you have to do to get those awards, all right? Um, same for the Marine Corps. All of my awards, there's a certain standard that you have to do. My first award out of all these took me three years to get. Out of 20, 23 years as an active duty Marine. Okay? Nowadays it's a little bit different. It's a little bit easier to get some of the awards you get. But my first one was a good conduct medal. Okay? Three years, not, not getting in trouble, that's pretty much what you're, you're going to get it for. Uh, again, in your case, you have some drill team, color guard, um, community service, participation. There are certain standards that you have to get to get those rates, all right? Um, next one we'll talk about, <coughs> decisiveness. The ability to make decisions promptly and to announce them in a clear and forceful manner. Now, if you're going to uh, go to Marine Corps boot camp, you're gonna see this a lot, okay? Um, there's, there's a lot of decisiveness that, decisiveness that goes on down there, but, Forceful manner, always. Okay, that's the way they do it down there at Press Um just, It's just the ability to make good decisions. Again, all right? Next. Initiative. One of my favorite ones. Taking action in the absence of orders. Okay? One of the reasons I really like this one is because I see it all the time, especially in the cadets. If something needs to be done, okay, like in supply, just get in there and do it, okay? Initiative can be something as small as picking up picking up a piece of trash when nobody's watching you. Okay? You know it makes our school look better, so we'll just pick it up, throw it in the trash can. That little thing right there can be construed as taking initiative. Okay, and sometimes I, I like to just look out the window. Piece of paper's on the ground, cups flying all over the place. I want to see which cadet is gonna pick that pick that cup up or throw it away. Just because they've learned what initiative means to them. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is tact. There we go. The ability to deal with others with respect. Okay? Use the old saying, treat others as you would want to be uh, you treated. Okay? Treat others as you want to be treated. So if you don't want somebody getting in your face and yelling and screaming and stuff like that, why should you do that to somebody else? Okay? If somebody makes a mistake, okay, and it's like a life-threatening mistake, like they're about to walk out in front of traffic, obviously 
tech goes out the window, okay? But say, for instance, you have a cadet walking with their hands in their pockets, okay? Or walking inside with a cover on their head. Just tell them with tech, hey, take your cover off, or hey, take your hands out of your pocket. Now, if you see them do it again, you might want to get it a little bit louder, okay? If, they, if it happens a third time, you might want to take them in the back, all right? Not beat them up or anything like that. But that's where you counsel that cadet one-on-one, -on -one, all right, and let them know what you're doing wrong. This is why, this is why you should not have your hands in your pocket. This is why you should <clears throat> take your cover off indoors. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do. You should know the uniform regulations. Okay, uh, next one we're going to talk about is dependability. <clears throat> Excuse me, dependability. Certainly a proper performance of duty. Okay, if you're given a mission. If you're given a mission, if, like most of you in here are the leaders of this of this company. If you're given a mission by myself, by the uh, by the lieutenant commander, by the master chief, by the CEO, by the XO, okay, you should do that without question, okay? Because it's going to be mostly most of the time it's going to be a lawful order, okay? If you're in supply and you're told, okay, I want all these uniforms to look like this, change the clothes hangers, that's your mission, do it, okay? I should come back in there later. Or whoever gave you that order, and it should be it should be complete. Okay, so dependability. I should be able to depend on you, especially if you are a leader. Okay. The next one we're going to talk about is integrity. Again, one of my favorites. Okay, the uh, uprightness and soundness of moral principles, the quality and truthfulness of the quality of truth, truthfulness and honesty. All right. You have to be honest because if you can't be trusted, okay, pretty much. None of these other uh, acronyms are the JJ Dittai buckle, the leadership traits. It makes no sense, okay? Because you have to be trusted to do most of these, okay? To do all of these, actually, all right? So just have integrity. Be able to trust. If you say you're going to do something, okay, just do it, all right? Next. Comes up. Okay, good. Okay, endurance. The mental and physical stamina is measured by the ability to withstand pain, fatigue, stress, and hardship. Um, this is when we're doing PT, obviously, we're going to put you to the test, see what you can handle, see what you can't handle. Okay? That's, uh, that's pretty much what endurance is. Go ahead. Next one should be bearing. Okay, okay bearing. Okay. Next, next one is uh, is bearing. Uh, creative, create a favorable impression of carriage, appearance, personal conduct at all times. In other words, maintain your maintain your your uh, your bearing. When you're talking to a cadet, you should never be slouching. This has to do with hands in your pockets, how you look as as a as a marine, as a cadet. Okay, you always want to look sharp in uniform because you're representing you're representing not only the ROTC, but you're representing your school. You have to remember you're on a, a Navy base who wears the same uniforms that you guys wear, okay? The greatest compliment you should get is if, if a sailor comes up to you and says, hey, you look pretty sharp in the uniform, all right? They're thinking you're one of them, okay? So always have bearings when you're talking to anybody and wearing, especially when you're wearing that uniform. Unselfishness, uh, the avoidance of providing for one's comfort, okay? You, if for instance, if we're out in the field, we're training, we're at boot camp, so we run out of MREs, okay? Guess what? Give yours up for your cadet, for your fellow cadet. Don't ever think about yourself. You always think about your fellow cadets first, okay? Next. Courage. This can be mental and physical, okay? Mental, mental uh, courage is, for instance, um, just have the courage to square somebody away. If they have their hands in their pockets, if they're wearing the uniform incorrectly, okay? It takes mental courage to go up to somebody and tell them that they're doing something wrong, okay? Stopping a fight, anything like that, it all takes mental courage. Physical courage, physical courage is more, is more like repelling, okay? You have, if you want to repel, it takes a lot of physical courage to jump, to, to, to make that first jump, okay? That, that, that takes physical courage. Going into combat, it takes courage. Okay, next. Knowledge, knowledge is self-explanatory. Okay, you always want to know as much about your job, uh, the ROTC, um, 
if you're going into the military, try to know as much about it as possible. U.S. cadets, if you plan on going into the military, you're going to have a huge head start on everybody else trying to, trying to do it if they've never took any type of uh, leadership, tra leadership training. Okay, next one. Loyalty, okay, the, the quality of faithfulness to country corps and to your seniors and subordinates, all right? Just be faithful. Be, faith, be, uh, be loyal. That's the same word as faithful, okay? Um, to everything, to your family, to your friends, to your ROTC, to your school, okay? That's what loyalty is. Next. And enthusiasm. The display of sincere interest and exuberance in the performance of duty, all right? Enthusiasm is something that it, not everybody has, okay? I look forward every day to going to the gym, coming to work, you know, teaching cadets, okay? I look forward to that. That's what, that's what the enthusiasm means to me, okay? Next. All right, at this time, do I have any questions? No? Thank you for coming to my class.